Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a uh, small training video on um, coils in a roll tight. How to secure and placement, chains and binders. So I hope you enjoy. You guys can see this is uh, two coil bunks. They're 21,000 pounds each. Uh, coils have to be sitting in the coil bunks, which is met, uh, two pieces of metal on either side of the coil. They have to be the same diameter as the coil. If the coil bunks are over here, you're gonna get twisting of it. It's not supporting the coil itself. The wood helps it and um, keeps it inside the bunk as uh, secured. The chains, chains usually, depending on how many, uh, how, how much weight is in the, uh, the coil is, these coils are 21,000. Each one of these will hold 8,000 pounds. So you have 816, you got 21,000 pounds of restraint holding the coil in, which is more than enough. The coils are called facing uh, suicide, meaning if they break, they roll forward. Uh, the other way is called shotgun, where the eye of the hole is facing the driver. Some places need it that way because the crane will not turn. This, um, the customer didn't specify which way, so we're loaded shotgun this way. So as you can see, the chains are pulling the coil on either direction and then a center, center uh, chain to hold it, right? The reason why you want it pulling that way so you have less movement of the coil, okay? So when you put the, when you put the chains down, make sure these guys have corner protectors because the product is very thin. If you got to go like a quarter inch of steel, you're not going to wreck it. Mm -hmm. But this is very thin because it's very, very thin. It's going to damage the product. As you can see, there are two ways to put it in here. You can use the coupling of the, uh, of the trailer or the other way is when there's no coupling, you can do it this way. But you got to make sure that the uh, hook is facing upwards. You don't want it facing downwards. Everything must be all, all the same. You want to say in sequence, right? So the binders, always open the binders all the way, right? When you open the binders all the way, you have more movement that you can play with. Because if you keep it closed and you start pulling on there, it will get shortened Then you have to release it, open it back up. So Navinja is going to show you it's uh, how to do it. The clip, he's going to clip the top first, right? Right in the hook there, and then the bottom. Go as far as you can, as tight as you can. See, that's right. So you don't have to do it again, right? And you keep everything the same. You want to keep buckles up. If you want to keep it up, no problem. You can keep it up, you can keep it down. But when tightening too, you got to make sure as hard as you can go. There is no, see, it's, it's tightening right there really good. There you go. One more, that should be good. That should be good. Now you can feel the tension of these. It's very locked in really good. The excess, just one. And that's it. As long as it's off the deck, everything's got to look neat, right? As long as it looks neat, as long as it's nice and tight, an officer is going to look at this and go, hmm, this is nice. It's not messy. It, it looks really, really neat. So this is a simple way of doing coils, right? It's pretty simple. I, I find a lot of guys put all the binders on one side, but I do not like that. I like it pulling one side, pulling the other side, and then pulling the middle. I'm taking away the movement of everything. Now the coil is, it's yeah. fighting itself. It's fighting the binders, right? It's not gonna be able to move anywhere. Okay, our roll tights work off an air system, which means um, once there is air in the system, the plunger will activate and close the system. But if there's no air in, in it, the plungers will not work. That's why we tell the drivers not to apply the brakes because it will take longer for you to build up the air to close the rack. Okay, we're gonna be doing a peat moss load. These are uh, super sacks. They are right up to the roof. We're going to be showing these guys how to uh, tie down the peat moss so you can go down the road safely. 
as you can see, is as high as the trailer, 23 rolls. They're averaging about 44,000 pounds. So the PMOS is usually loaded with the space in the front that doesn't go straight up to the uh, nose of the trailer with uh, weight distribution. Because if you go up too high, you'll be putting too much weight up in the front. So the distance between here and the distance between the back would normally be the exact same, okay? Usually with these peat moss loads, they're a little tight and a little hard to work with, but you have to have a good hand. So the first two, the first two gets two straps. The next will get single straps all the way down. Okay, as you can see, um, when I'm strapping up the, the, the chains, the uh, straps here, I'm using the bottom end of the trailer here, right to the bottom. Uh, rules are, it, it just has to be the secure to the trailer. You're not gonna get the buckles a lot of the time, so you can just do it that way. If you don't throw straight and get in between there, yeah, it is very hard. You have to pull out everything and start from the fresh. It's all manual labor, all manual labor. Just get to as far as the curtain, then we'll go to the other side, then you guys can finish it up. Cleanliness is next to godliness, right? Over, do a few times, over, right? Right about here, you're gonna loop under, right? So you're gonna loop it under, tuck it there, and then push it underneath with your hand. Everything nice and neat, take your time. When everything's nice and neat, Like that. So on the front here, Omar is going to show you that we usually don't put a ratchet over the tire due to the fact is the ratchet sitting over the tire will shred up the tire. So the drivers will use a portable in the front here. So that way that the, the distance, there's nothing over the tire. Uh, behind the tire is okay because when you turn, it will go in the center. So over the tire, he's going to use a portable ratchet there. Yeah. You got it. Okay. So here Omar is putting in a ratchet strap so it clears the tire. All the drivers do carry eight, eight of these for the forklifts and for any, any material that's close to the tires that needs to be done front and the rear, they can put in the portable strap. There you go. And then he'll just tie it up, make sure it's nice and neat. Looks pretty good, huh? Cleanliness, everything is nice and neat. Cleanliness is next to godliness, I, I usually say, right? And the reason why they're only using one strap is that this is compressed. This is about 2,500 pounds compressed. It's not top heavy, it's not bottom heavy. The whole entire thing is one weight. So one strap holding it down is okay. The front strap is two of them just to keep it from the rocking because there's nothing in, in front of it. When these are all snugged in together, it's very secure. That's good.